my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings today we begin a new month june dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus we also begin a new season in the liturgical year that is after the easter season we begin the ordinary time of the liturgical year and this is the ninth week in ordinary time today monday after the pentecost we celebrate the memorial of mary mother of the church pope francis on march 3rd 2018 announced that from that year on the monday after pentecost would be celebrated as memorial of the blessed virgin mary mother of the church with proper readings Let's listen to the gospel reading. The Holy Gospel according to John chapter 19 verses 25 to 34. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, "Woman, behold your son." Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished and bowing his head he handed over the spirit now since it was preparation day in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the sabbath for the sabbath day of that week was a solemn one the jews asked pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down so the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with jesus But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead they did not break his legs but one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ brothers and sisters mary mother of the church is a title officially given to mary during the second vatican council and was first used in the 4th century by saint ambrose of milan in 2018 as i told you in the introduction pope francis decreed that this memorial be inserted into the roman calendar on the monday after pentecost mary is present in the church as the mother of christ and at the same time as that mother whom christ in the mystery of the redemption gave to humanity in the person of the apostle john thus in her new motherhood in the spirit Mary embraces each and every one in the church and embraces each and every one through the church The evangelist John is the only one who records Mary's presence at the cross He tells us that five people stood by the cross The mother of Jesus is present at the hour that finally has come just like when that hour was foretold 
at the wedding feast at Cana. Thus, being the person that remains faithful to the Lord in his destiny as his first and true beloved disciple. The evangelist keeps the other disciple anonymous so that each one of us may see him or herself mirrored in the one who knew the mysteries of the Lord, who laid his head on Jesus' chest at the Last Supper. The mother standing beneath the cross accepted her son's testament of love and welcomed all people in the person of the beloved disciple as sons and daughters to be reborn unto eternal life. Jesus said, when a woman is delivered of the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a child is born into the world. Seeing his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near her, Jesus on the cross, his throne reveals his will. He gives birth to the church represented by Mary, Mary of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene together with the beloved disciple that is us. Mary, mother of the church, pray for us. Let's pray the psalm of the day. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, on the 1st of June, we wish all those who celebrate their birthday today. We thank God for the gift of your life. And also we ask him to continue to shower his choices blessings on you. Especially Francis Lewis from Rajajinagar, Bengaluru. Bertie Gilbert Kutina from Vadodara, Gujarat. Fluir Annette D'Souza from Dubai. Greta Rodriguez from Dubai. Alvin D'Souza from Kulshaker, presently in Sydney. Melvin D'Souza from Kulshaker, presently Dubai. Angeline D'Souza from Ranipura. Happy birthday, dear friends. God bless you. We also remember Vienna Rodriguez from Goa, who celebrates her baptism day. God bless you, dear. We remember the couples who celebrate their wedding anniversary today. God bless your family life, your marital union, especially Richard and Zita Tauro from Mudbitre. We also pray for the departed soul of Selin Lobo from Vidya Vihar, Mumbai. May the Lord grant her eternal rest. Brothers and sisters, if you have any difficulty in getting this audio from anyone, if you wish to receive it from us, kindly WhatsApp your full name and place to my number. I am Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest, and my number is 948126322. 948126322. See you tomorrow. Have a great week. Bye bye.